Okay, so I just wanted to do a quick nursery tour for you guys. Um, I know I have been promising it for a long time. And I feel like for the most part, everything is pretty much how I want it. There is one other thing I'm waiting on my friend to finish up for his blankets I just have on the floor right now. But besides that, I don't think anything else is changing in here. So I wanted to give you guys a quick tour. So this is his nursery. When you walk in the door, this is his crib. And um, a few people have asked me in the comments where I got that crib from. And this is actually from Target. Um, they have a few other color options, but I just really love this one. So the crib itself is from Target. And if I can, I'll find a link and I'll put it in the description. The quilt, um, I'm actually, I might move it. I haven't decided because he's definitely not going to be in his crib when he first arrives. But I thought it looked cute for now. But that I got at Crate and Barrel. In the crib sheet, I also got a crate and barrel. This little mobile um, was one of the things on my registry. Because it was kind of hard to find one that fit with my theme. So I wanted something neutral that would still go with the crib and all that. So this is actually from Target. And it just has little animals, which I thought went good with his room. It's so cute. Um, and then I just have his docketot in here just for now. Um, I'll move it later. And I just have a cute little pillow, which also will be moved. It's just here to look pretty right now until, you know, he's officially in his crib. But I really, really, really love how it turned out. And then we have his baby monitor um, in the far right corner of his crib for now. That also might change, but it's just there until he's actually in his crib and we can kind of play around with what works best. Um, above his crib is the sign that I won on Facebook. I am completely obsessed with it. It ties the whole room together. I honestly feel like without it, I would still love his nursery, but something would be missing. So I'm so, so, so happy that I won that. Um, I was really excited about that. And then to the left wall, I'm just going to go to that one real quick because there's just a couple things on it. Um, I just have a couple pictures that I got from Hobby Lobby which I am obsessed with. I love the welcome to my crib sign and I love the little fox. I think it's a fox. Someone told me it might be something else. I think me and Dylan thought it was a raccoon, but I think it's actually a fox. Either way, it's so, so cute and I think they look so good on this wall. And then to the right of the crib, I have this little four cube shelf that I got from Target as well. Um, I'll zoom up a little bit closer so you guys can see. Um, I have that sign that my friend got me that says Be Brave Little Bear. That's from Hobby Lobby. The fox on the left is from Marshalls. And then I got that little bear that says like a bedtime prayer. I got that at my baby shower. So I'm sorry, I don't know where that one's from. And then the lamp is from Walmart. And then I wasn't sure what I wanted to put in these little four cubes, but I ended up having so many books from my baby shower. They didn't all fit on the bookshelves that I got, so I put the rest of them right here. And then I think there's some more in the back over there. Um, but I think they look good and they bring a pop of color. And then this plant I got from Marshall's and then my friend, I think he said he got that sign at Bell's Outlet, which I thought was so freaking adorable like it is everything um and then i just have these two little cube drawers that actually used to be in my laundry room and i bought two other little cubes that i thought might work in here but the colors were just off so i put the two that i bought originally for in here in my laundry room and then i switched out the ones in the laundry room and put them in here but in here for now i just have all of his swaddle blankies which he has so many um i got a lot at my baby shower which i was really happy about and then what do i have in here i don't have anything in here right now just because i don't know what i'm gonna need and what's gonna work best but this is this for now and then above it i actually bought this sign the day that we found out that everything was okay with hayden with all of his little hiccups that we've had so i bought this and i just felt like it had to go in here somewhere and me and dylan were kind of like iffy about the placement but i think it looks really cute i think it looks really good there and then we got this little stand from where do we get this 
we got this one from Hobby Lobby. I thought it was really cute. Whenever we first bought it, Dylan was like, what? Like, this is weird. I'm like, no, no, no. I promise you it's going to be adorable. So it's just like a little hanging shelf with a rope. Um, and then the little stuffed animal on it is from Marshalls. And also the plant is from Marshalls. The plant I actually had in my bathroom. <laughs> Moved it in here for some color. I thought it worked really cute. Worked really well and looked really cute. So that's where that's at. And then we have the glider, which is also from Target. And I am obsessed. It's so comfortable. I can't even. It's like so fluffy and so soft and just perfect for when I'm going to be in here. Um, the blanket on top is actually a, I don't even know what they're really called. They're like those big blankets or sometimes people get sheets that you lay out and it has like a circle on one side and then it has the month of how old they are and you like circle each month like as they grow. So maybe it's called like a growing blanket. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. I'm like getting out of breath, <laughs> but that's what I have there just because I thought it looked so cute and I love all the little animals. So I have that just hanging over there for now. And then I have this rug, this circle rug that I got off Amazon. I think it was like $11.99. If I can find the link, I'll also put it in the description for you guys. And I just thought, it, I, I wanted something like right here. But then when I got the circle rug, I was like, I feel like it works really well right here. I think it looks cute. So to the right of his chair, we have the toy box. So I just have like all his little stuffed animals, his little like blinky things that people have got him which I need to get another, a bigger one, I think. Um, and then right here, I just have his blankets for now, but I'm actually having my friend build me like a ladder and I'm going to put the blankets um, like on the ladder. You know how they have like the storage for that. Um, I thought it'd be really cute. So for now they're here, but I will have like a little ladder. And then we have his bookshelves with a little fox head on top. I got the fox head at Target, which I'll link below. The shelves I got from Amazon, they are a little bit smaller than I was expecting, but they are also a really good size. So if you're looking for something very long and large, I wouldn't recommend these ones. But if you're looking for something like in between, these are perfect. So we just put some of the books from the baby shower on here. And then I got this little wheelie cart from Target, which isn't going to stay in his nursery. It's just here for now. But whenever he's here, I'm going to wheel it into our bedroom and have it by my nightstand so I can like have wipes and diapers and nipple pads and all of that on hand. So I thought that was really cool. And then his closet isn't doesn't have too much going on. I've washed all of the clothes and put them up in the changing table that are zero to three months just because I don't feel the need to wash the ones for six months and on just yet. It was just too much and very overwhelming. So all of these items I haven't washed just because, yeah, they're like three and six months, like the combo ones. Um, but all of these jackets I've washed and then all of the actual like baby clothes that I'm going to be putting him in, I've already washed and I'll, I'll show you those. But then I just have like a couple little baskets, some shoes, extra wipes, diapers, um, I have my diaper bag, the Mamaru, the trash can, bath, a swing, a walker, and then like an activity mat. Those things I'm not going to put together just yet until he's here and he's ready for them. So they're just in here for storage for now. And after that, there'll be more room in here. But it works out for now. And then to the right of the closet, we have this sign that my sister found for me at Marshall's a long, long time ago. Like probably, I was probably like eight, nine weeks prior. I don't know. I was like so, so long ago, but I thought it was perfect. And I just have that right above the changing table. Um, this changing table matches the crib and it's also from Target. And the changing pad cover is also from Target. But in here, I just have... The, I think I showed you guys this in my last vlog, but just like his little hats, socks, burp cloths, um, little mittens, you know, all that stuff. And then over here I have wipes, diapers, all the stuff, you know, all the essential stuff. And then I have all his clothes, all the little onesies from newborn to uh, zero to three months. All the little pants. And then I have 
his sleepers, like the little footy pajamas, and swaddles, and sleep sacks in here. And that is pretty much everything in his nursery. I'm really, really happy with how it uh, turned out. And I can't wait to have him here. Neither can Dallas. Every time I open up Hayden's room, Dallas like runs in here. <laughs> it's really cute, but... I hope you guys enjoyed this little nursery tour and we will see you later. Say bye Dallas.